Thank you. Let's move on to the role plays now. So I'll take the part of the patient or perhaps a relative. Um, you'll take the professional role. So each role play will last five minutes and the purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfil as much of the role play as possible. Uh, do you have any questions? No, oh, thanks. Excellent. So you have up to three minutes to prepare the first role play. You will start the role play after that time. You'll know uh, when three minutes are up. You can ask me if there's anything you're not sure about and um, make notes on the role play card. If you want, there's a pencil for making notes. You can look at the card during the test but must return it to me at the end of the test. Uh, this is your information for the first role play and the role play number one uh, for profession of nursing. Please start preparing now. Thank you. Thank you. The Thank role play will now last for about five minutes. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Can you start the role play now? Yeah. Hi, my name is Mary. I am one of the nurses from the hospital. Uh, I came today because um, the doctor needs you to start insulin. So what do you feel about that? Well, to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous about the idea of starting insulin injections. Oh, okay. I can understand um, it's really uh, new for you to to inject yourself with insulin, but I'd like to reassure you that it's easy and uh, it's straightforward. So mm -hmm. I will uh, explain to you how to take the, the injection and you will be fine. So, yeah. Is, is there any other way? Is there another thing we could possibly do? Um, about the diet and anything oral tablet, um, mm -hmm. I think it's not the, the, the good option for you at the moment because your, um, the diet is not controlling your, um, the, the sugar level in your, in your blood. So the insulin injection is the best option for you at the moment. It will control uh, your blood sugar level and um, bring your blood sugar level uh, at the normal level for you. Uh, for you. Mm. So um, I want to reassure you that it's it's very easy to, to take insulin injection and I can explain to you how to take it. Okay. So let, can you let me to, to tell you? Yes. So uh, in the beginning, you will take the, um, the insulin um, injection. You open mm -hmm. it and um, uh, check the correct uh, dose and, and the, the date of the mm -hmm. Uh, on the um, in, uh, needle mm -hmm. and if it's right and if it's the right dose the doctor tell you mm. and then um, you you check on your tummy mm -hmm. so uh, choose any spot you like mm -hmm. and then try to squeeze your tummy at, like this and mm -hmm. then um, put your needle ah, okay. uh, but I would like to um, to explain that you need to change the, the spot so mm. you don't use the, the same spot uh, for every time. So you need uh -huh. to change the spot. One time here, one time there. So okay. you don't have the bruising and mm -hmm. this kind of painful uh, area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think about that? Uh, I mean, I, I guess, as you say, I, I have to because my diet isn't yes. working to control my insulin. Yeah. I, I, you know, I still feel a bit nervous about it, but I, I guess I could give it a go. Yeah. And um, the insulin injection will um, uh, control the, the, the situation for you and you mm -hmm. will get uh, healthier and better and the insulin will help you get better and improve your condition, mm -hmm. make you feel healthier and um, uh, good again, mm -hmm. yeah. Is, is it something I have to do for the rest of my life? I mean, that's I guess also something that I'm, I'm kind of nervous about. Yeah, you will take this uh, injection and you w w the doctor will keep an eye on the um, blood sugar level. So mm -hmm. you will have to do uh, a test for every um, couple of months or something like that. The doctor mm -hmm. will tell you exactly. And then you will check your um, blood sugar. If one stage the, um, 
your um, blood sugar will uh, will become um, normal again so maybe the doctor will um, explain to you another option mm. but at this stage you need to take the insulin injection mm. to help your condition mm. and um, I would like to um, stress the importance of disposable um, to throw the, the needle in uh-huh. in this um, container I bring yellow container for you uh-huh. so after you finish the injection you put the, the needle inside this container mm-hmm. and when it's full and mm-hmm. um, y- you don't put any other needle inside it go to the local pharmacy and mm-hmm. then uh, change this yellow container they will give you a new one and mm-hmm. they can take the old one from you mm-hmm. yeah, okay so you, you will not injure yourself or any of um, your family I see and what happens because I am still a bit nervous about the injections yeah. what happens if I freak out and you know I can't inject myself um, I can understand it's very stressful for, <laughs> because mm. it's it's your first time mm. but I would like to assure you that um, you will get use of use of it and um, you will know how to do it by time mm. it will become natural and you can do it easily mm. so just to try now and I will try with you mm-hmm. for the first time and then um, so you can know how to do it by yourself mm-hmm. um, but I, I would like to assure you that it, it's it's straightforward and it's easy you will mm. get use of it and you will know how to do it mm. okay yeah. at the end I would like to summarize what we have discussed today mm-hmm. so the doctor um, needs you to start insulin injection mm-hmm. so to control your uh, blood sugar level mm-hmm. So, uh, and um, you will find a spot in your tummy, Mm -hmm. put the injection inside your tummy and then uh, uh, put the needle inside this yellow container Mm -hmm. and when it's full, uh, take it to the local pharmacy and change it for a new one. (laughs) Do you have any question for me today? No. Is that clear for you? (laughs) Yes. And thank you. That's the end of the.